ADFIS stands for the Australian Defence Force Academy and it's a military tri-service officer training establishment here in Canberra and basically um, young training officers like us will come here and we'll study a university degree at the same time as we do our military training to become officers. So ADFIS is not like a normal university, it's got that military side and the university side so you get a civilian university degree as well as um, getting trained um, as a military leader you know in life schools and things that you'll need throughout your career in the military and you know people that come to ADFA have an interest in both um, their degrees and also you know leading people and working in teams not just one or the other. So at ADFA there's a university side and a military side. Your university side has just everything you have at a normal uni so all the different faculty buildings. Um, there's also a 24-hour library um, where a lot of people get their study done. Um, then over on the military side, you've got your basic base sort of thing. So we've got a cadet's mess where a lot of our functions are held and we eat there every day. Um, we've also got a massive gym facility which incorporates a massive pool with an overhead obstacle course. Um, there's also various courts, so every, whether you want to play squat, squash sorry, or basketball, you can do that there. And then we've also got the massive cadet accommodation line. So that's where pretty much most of us live in tri-service environment. Yeah, cool. And we've also got a whole range of sports fields as well, so you know, AFL ovals, uh, soccer ovals, um, rugby as well. And I did see a, an auditorium here, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, it's a big auditorium called Adams Auditorium. It fits around a thousand people, so uh, oh. if the whole academy needs to be in there at one time, um, we can go in there and we use it just for briefs, some, some classes, and also special events like special guest lecturers, um, just, you know, professionals from Canberra and um, also like uh, performing arts do performances in the auditorium as well, yeah. Sure, you can go and do engineering at a, another university, but you're not getting all of the benefits that we're getting while we're studying here at ADFA. You might incur, you know, help or hex fees while you're doing degrees at um, civilian universities and you're also so not, you're not getting paid to study yeah there. <laughs> you're not getting um, you're not getting paid to study while you're at civilian degrees for those things ADFA is the only place that you can get that there's free medical so that does make a huge difference like I didn't really realize it before I came into the ADF of how much of a huge difference that is you can also get some really unique opportunities here at ADFA mm -hmm. I've been selected to go on an exchange with the Canadian Defence Force mm -hmm. in a couple of wow. months so yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll, be, I'll be going over there for a visit and then some Canadians will be coming here for a visit so you can do international trips to Canada, the US, UK. Um, UK. You're really, um, you know, supported through that with that because they really want you to get the most out of your time here. So personally, I didn't actually do a whole lot of leadership activities before I came here. I was always, always very interested in it throughout high school. I did like minor leadership roles, but nothing major. Um, as long as you have a passion for leadership and you're looking to develop your leadership, it's not really an issue if you don't have like, you're not a school captain, I say. Um, throughout high school and primary school, I was actually involved in numerous um, leadership projects, whether that be class captain, um, I was football captain for a couple of seasons, and then in year 11 and year 12, I was um, a house captain. Also before coming to ADFA, um, Navy gets um, some leadership training through that New York Noyo year. You can also be leadership in other ways, so amongst your peers, so just um, getting involved in team sports and, and team activities, um, leading amongst your friends and even just simple um, positions like team captain, mm. um, those sort of build the skills that you need at ADFA. The degree it's the most, has the most contact hours out of all the degrees here. Um, you do need to learn organisation pretty quickly when you come in here because you do have to balance that university side and the military side. Mm. So it's not like a civil university where it's, you're allowed to just study. We still need to maintain fitness um, and also maintain a drive towards the military. So it's definitely doable, 100%, um, but you do need to adapt pretty quickly. I'm still enjoying myself doing an engineering degree. We've got more contact hours than the other degrees, degree streams, but that doesn't limit us in terms of being able to enjoy our time here doing sports yeah. or socialising with friends. Um, but just with engineering, you need a little, like Lily was saying, you need a little bit more um, organisational ability, which you can develop when you're here. Yeah, you're not expected to be a professional at <laughs> juggling uh, all your uh, tasks at once. Um, like a lot of the second and third years will help you out if you're a first year and the divisional officers and staff um, you know, really teach you techniques and methods so you can um, balance everything here at ADFA. Throughout the year we have def uh, different colour book periods. That's where you can go and leave or for some, for Army especially we do, do training. But when we do go and leave, 
You find that at ADFA because you most of your time is spent studying throughout the week. You save a lot of money. So a lot of cadets here go on exotic trips throughout the year. <laughs> so for example, we recently just came off a leave period and a lot of my friends were in Europe and Asia, um, all with their mates, of course, because everyone's earning the same amount of money. So yeah, it's probably, I definitely would say that People probably get to go overseas the most while they're at ADFA because we like definitely get leave and we've got money to spend. <laughs> Even just small trips, like yeah. um, I go away to Sydney um, every few weekends just to spend time with my, my family and my girlfriend. Sydney's home for you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm from Sydney so it's only a three, three hour drive from here. So on my leave breaks I've been to Europe and I've also been up to Sunshine Coast as well with um, a couple of my mates. but. Um, on top of that, it's always nice to go home as well. And while you're here at ADFA, Defence actually pays for you to go home um, at roughly three times, three times a year. You're not completely broken off from home. You can always go back and you know, say hello to mum and dad.